I couldn't find my parents. I remember I terribly was touched. I remember getting stuck on a stove. I remember jamming my feet. Well, who wants to go first? You go yes. first. I first. It was when I was six years old. I went on the beach with my family. It was great. We swam, fished, and even played in the water. But one time, my cousin and I wanted to go on a boat. I was so excited. I was the first one on the boat. My dad started pushing my cousin and I around, and I fell off the boat. I went back onto the shore, but no one was there. I was really scared. I couldn't find anyone, so I went back to the lifeguard. He was sitting in his high beach chair. I told him that I lost my dad, and he asked me what my dad's name was. And he went away, but then a few moments later, he came back with a huge speaker looking thing. My dad then called, the lifeguard then called my dad's name through the, through the speaker. My dad looked up and I found my dad. <laughs> <laughs> After school, I went outside to ride my bike. I was 10. I wanted to see how fast I could ride with no hand. <laughs> and don't worry, I had a helmet on and I was a pro at this. I've been riding with no hands for a couple of years since my brother taught me. I was riding on my road in, in my villa in Beijing. I saw a group of boys who were throwing sticks around, and my head turned right to look at them. While I was never cold, I ran to the back, a huge rock with about one centimeter of and five feet. I crashed into the rock and did a flip. Now, I look forward to my going forward. <laughs> you go. Um, I was playing with and I was running around my best friend's living room to the dining room table. I didn't notice her very dangerous dog sitting there. The dog leaped up and me very hard in there. I went three meters to close, and the cut was more than five centimeters long. I got 12 injections, and I couldn't move for four days because I was so sore. The scar is fading away, but you can still see it in there. I remember telling my dad about the incident and him telling me to shake the dog for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> When I was seven years old, I went to Singapore's, uh, Singapore's water park. We go that I went to during Christmas. I went with my cousins, Elizabeth and Grace, but I didn't really like Grace. We go there every, every year and go on every single ride. One of the activities was way cool. I got really scared, but my cousins and brothers said it was fun, so I went. We got into the tubes one by one and pushed our tubes slowly into the water. Suddenly, a huge wave came and knocked me to the ground. I knocked my head and I was buried under the tube. I started to cry. I looked around, but I couldn't find my parents. Luckily, I found my mom. She was eating lunch and she stopped me. <laughs> Last year in Spain, Barcelona, I terribly broke my foot. Before that, my friend and I were goofing around really during the day. I had just finished Taekwondo class and my friend fell on my foot and broke it. Ah! I screamed and I heard and felt a cracking sound in my foot though. Blood was ending. I had to go on a course for three months. On the other hand, I get the other terrible accident was that I still to eat in my classroom with my friends. I guess it would have been worse if I broke my jaw. No talking, no cleaning. <laughs> Well, I've got a story that will chill your bones. Liar. <laughs> I have an experience in my life that somehow I'll remember forever. Do you think getting stuck in a snow pile is scary? Imagine that double plus boredom. I didn't have my PSP. It all started when I cruise ride in Anchorage, Alaska. The cruise had blue stripes all over it. And to me, it was like a blue and white zero. Then we went to Vancouver. Snow was covering the ground, and unfortunately, I wasn't that conscious. My first step into the snow, and my boots sank 10 centimeters. I was stuck there for an hour, and I had no idea how I got That was seriously the most scariest time. I could see the bouncing basketball everywhere. Out from the corner of my eye, I saw someone shooting the basketball. I positioned myself underneath the basket to catch the bounce. Instead, the basketball crashed for a right great fate. I fell to my knees, tears streaming down my cheeks. My finger was numb, and whenever I tried to move it, a 
drop came on him on. It was pure torture. After a couple of seconds, the pain wore away, but the damage was already done. I went to the nurse and I found out that I had my finger. I had difficulty doing some things with my fingers, as I could only bend it with stand. But a few weeks later, I recovered. Wow, this is all so terrible. At least these marshmallows are still good. 